Hello, and welcome back to what's bubbling a zim. I am Dr. Abstract, and in this uh, bubbling, we're happy to show you, well, already, zimjazz.com. We've got a new version of zim, or a subversion of zim. We're on zim version zim. Zero 02 and we had Zim01 before that, and Zim00. Before that was Zim NFT, Zim Cat, Zim10, Zim Neo, Zim Oct, etc. So welcome to the world of Zim. Uh, here we are at the Zim site, and I would like to take you through how to find out the new things, the, the bubbling things. Um, and then what we'll do is we'll do individual bubblings on all of what we're what we're seeing. So first the first way is look at this carousel here, which is new. And here, if we click on this, we'll go in and we'll see the connectors. Aha! So we've got a couple new things with connectors. And once again, we'll do a whole bubbling on, on the connectors and go into the specifics. But in general, we can record connectors and we can also say where the connectors can be dropped. Uh, can this one be dropped over here? No, uh, etc. So we'll come back to that. And what you can do is once you're in here, you can go and use these arrows to click through to the next thing. So, ah! Ah, here comes the editor and we'll do a bubbling on the editor and here you can see what's happening here. So you could do it that way or if you press the little Zim02, not the Zim, this would take you back, any Z is really supposed to take you back to the main page and so that's where that goes. But this bit right down here will take you to um, previews, I guess, or, or boxes. Uh, thumbnails, whatever we want to call these, thumbnails, I guess. <laughs> Big thumbnails. <laughs> elephant thumbnails. Um, <laughs> do elephants have thumbs? Not sure. Uh, but anyway, here here's the one on the connectors, and then these match the banners that are in there. So uh, what this site is, is this is the Zim Zim. So these are all of the features for Zim version Zim. And we have some general ones up top that are going to stay there, showing uh, the, the puzzle. And we'll show you other ways to get into this page as well in just a second. But anyway, also reminding us about the ES6 modules and the comparison. But now we're into the Zim 02s. Are we? <laughs> yes, the Zim 02s, that's right. This is Zim 01s right here. We probably should mark these uh, now that we're getting more of them. And then back to the Zim 00s that launched back in the beginning. So that's um, one way to get to them. The other way is to go to the news. So this is the Zim site again, and we go to the news. And here's our latest news, and we click on the banners, and it would take us into there. Or indeed, we... Um, click any of these things to go to specifics. And there's the earlier things for Zim01 and Zim00 and then Zim NFT before that. I guess NFT here, Zim Cat, Zim10. All right, so that's um, your way that way. Another way is any of the banners, uh, for instance, this one or the banner here on the home page. If you press the banner, it takes you into our puzzle. Yay, and you're welcome to do that puzzle. We'll just wait for it to chop itself up. The puzzle, by the way, how it works is it needs to go to the four quadrants, which almost is if it goes just a bit more down here at the bottom. There we go, and now it should stop. <laughs> there, it stops and it chops itself up. And then, oh, what a beautiful puzzle that is. And then you go and solve uh, solve the puzzle. But anyway, if you go to any of those banners, you'll come to the puzzle page and then you can hit new. And that will also take you into here to find out what is new. Yay! So, uh, let's see. There's examples as well. Oh, just realized we haven't put the latest examples right up in here, but we will. As you can see, this is the Zim01 examples, going back to some of the Zim NFTs and cat examples and mixed in with some more finished uh, products. At any time, you can go to collections as well, and collections will have the the set of them. So Zim Zero, uh, Zim here's the Zim Zim features right here. So that takes us to that page we've been looking at, the Zim NFT ones, the ES6 things, and there's the Zim Tens and Zim Cats. There's Zim Neo features. Okay, so the collections are collections of examples, and that will take you there, so you can find it that way. Here's the collection of NFTs, and we're back up to the top here. Okay, well, uh, over on the docs section, so if you go into the docs, the docs have all been updated. So we had mentioned a carousel, so I type in carousel or car, and it finds the carousel right here. 
with the example and the parameters and the methods and so forth. All right, so the docs have been updated, yay. I'll just hit the top here. And where you find the updates is right here under updates. So that's a little hidden and it may be, but when uh, it's a little hidden, but when we launch to the people using Zim, for instance, when we launch on Slack and Discord, the very first thing we do is say, hey, check the updates. So we certainly want you to come here and check out here's Zim02. Yay, uh, we've added a new little link here called breaks. And if you press that, it will go to any of the breaks that we've mentioned throughout here. So if we scroll on down through the updates, there's a break. All horizontal and vertical endings have now been changed to H and V. So for instance, padding horizontal is now padding H. And that matches our shorter one, spacing H and spacing V, which we used in, say, the tile. And now we've just sort of made them all shorter and consistent. Yay. But those break the duo, Zim duo name. So anytime you use the actual parameter name in in a, a, an object literal squiggly bracket configuration object, <laughs> whatever you want to call it, uh, we call it the Zim duo technique, you would have to then change those to horizon uh, the horizontal to H. Yay. The order of the parameters though have not changed. In, uh, but anyway, those are breaks. And so if you go on through here, here's a, a break with loop. We're now introducing loop um, that also has a an interval so that you can loop through things but wait time in between the loops. Um, and so there's a new parameter that was added right after the uh, reverse or yeah, reverse parameter. So that changes the order of the parameters and there's a break. So now up above here, oh, look at that too. We've added new boxes. Isn't that cool? So anytime there's a list of something, we have now sort of boxed it and we've added new um, subtitle uh, colors as well. Themes, customize, there's another box. So some formatting improvements in the updates as well. So updates has been coming along. The only thing it's really missing, uh, do you see what it's missing? It's missing pictures. If it, if it had pictures, it'd be practically a textbook almost. You know, the examples are now in here. Um, so it does take a lot of work to format this. Hopefully that's helpful for people and it maybe should be that our updates should be more prominently featured somewhere. But anyway, you can click and find the other updates and you can also do a, a search on this. So the idea is you search, but there's that break. So the breaks now will, will link down to a list of all of the breaks that we've listed up above. Um, if you come down to the bottom of, or near the bottom anyway, you'll find patches as well. And once we get some patches, we'll put a link right next to the breaks. Uh, we've been doing that for instance here patches will take you to the patches of Zim01. And you can see, by the way, that that grows to be a lot of patches. So those are a lot of patches for Zim01. And indeed, if we go into Zim00, here we are at Zim00 already, uh, the same deal. We go to patches and it's going to be a lot of patches there. So each time there, uh, there are patches, we don't have any at the moment, but we'll put a link to the patches there. Now, like I said, we've got a link to the breaks. Also down at the bottom, you have what has been updated. So we've updated the CDN, the docs, etc. So all these things have been updated, but still to come, we've got the bubbling videos. Hey, who's doing a bubbling video now? What do you know? Uh, we usually delay in updating TypeScript and Node Package Manager because they, um, it help, rather than redo them every time we make a patch, we do the patches for a while, for um, maybe a month or so, then we get to the TypeScript and Node Package Manager once it's more stable. Um, and then Patreon and Distill. So Distill will do relatively soon, uh, probably within this week, etc. But anyway, down here, you, you have what's been updated and what's still to be updated. Um, also down at the bottom, we usually say which versions of our helper libraries have been updated and or anything to do with the site. Uh, for instance, there's information on the tips right here. Um, the Zim Tips has been updated. If we go into Tips now, this is Zim Tips, you'll see that Changes has been moved up. Changes used to be down here with the debugging, but now uh, I think, so we're, we're just underneath the glossary here. I think it's probably good for you guys to know how to deal with changes and updates. 
So here uh, we've put that on, um, you know, right up top there in the tips. By the way, if you're looking at old code, here are some of the things that might have changed. And when should you update to new versions? When shouldn't you? These types of questions. So uh, there you are. Um, some information about dealing with changes. And what, what else was I going to show you with respect to that? I uh, can't remember right now. I think one place we had... Oh, finally check the tips. Oh, right. I was going to show you our... Uh, change parameter order. Somewhere we have a kind of uh, dealing with... No, it's what is it called? A, a roadmap for changes. But is it here? Let me just have a look. Hang on. Docs and intro tips. Yes, this is it right here. Okay, so uh, docs, tips, and intro should always be up to date. So the intro is the example of Zim that's in the in the gold bars down at the bottom. So those should always be right up to date. The code, uh, the code templates on CodePen and here on the code page should always be up to date. Uh, GitHub should be close, but there might be missing patches. Node package manager is delayed, and so is TypeScript. I should probably mention TypeScript in there. The bubbling video is a week or two from launch. Uh, Zim kids and bits um, updated every few versions. There's a lot, a lot there, and often if the version doesn't really change a lot, um, it, it still uh, works with the older versions of Zim. And then the examples themselves are not generally updated. So we don't go back through specific examples and update them to the latest code. In general, when we build with Zim, right as it says up here, hmm, dealing with changes. Generally, you code with the latest version of Zim, yes, but once your app is done and tested, you just leave the version as it is. It works. So you can keep an eye on improvements and patches. It may be that there was something in your your app that might work faster or um, without a bug or uh, possibly in a different way better. But in generally, general, once it's working, it's working. You just leave it. So hopefully you're doing that. There's no real reason to update to a latest version of Zim for the most part. So we don't update our versions uh, or our um, examples that are out there. Uh, we just leave them with the version that they were created. All right. Uh, also, suggestions to follow us on Twitter, Slack, and Discord. These are places where we post um, things that are changing as well. Yay! Okay, so that's probably good enough for this bubbling right now. Uh, we've shown you how to use the carousel here. You can use these guys. Um, and we're going to take you through now. Uh, well, you know what? Why don't we just um, show you what's in the carousel and we'll talk just briefly about it. Connectors, we mentioned that. Um, you can record the connectors and there's these things called drop targets that will, or drop arrays that we'll show you. Here's the Zim Editor. So we're going to come and take a look at the Zim Editor. We have a new numpad. Yay! Um, this is the loop that we mentioned. So these are a bit abstract. <laughs> I am, after all, Dr. Abstract. Anytime you want, just press that. Find out more about Dr. Abstract. So I am Dr. Abstract. Uh, abstract <laughs> abstract banners we've got going on here. But that relates to loop. This relates to the global manager. Less abstract. <laughs> it's a little bit boring, but basically it means that um, pages, layout, grid, and guide will all work without adding them to a manager. Here we have the carousel. So this is an ad for the carousel itself. And we're in a carousel. We have Zim theme, which allows us to change the colors. Uh, Zim colors to um, themed colors are actually whatever you want. Custom themes are various ways to do that. And then we've got a new feature with a pen that has this little pull string that pulls around. We've also improved the pen. That's the end of the carousel. And then it's going to bounce back and animate this way. So those are the eight features that we have so far. We still have a feature that's coming along. And there's a whole bunch of other smaller changes. So generally how we do it is we'll do a bubbling on each of the features and then a bubbling for the rest of the changes that, we, that weren't sort of main features. All right, I am Dr. Abstract. This has been a What's Bubbling at Zim. Have a great day or night. Come on by and join us at zimjs.com slash discord, zimjs.com slash slack. We'd love to see you there. Cheers. <laughs>